it's Eric with his and hers HHQ. This is Ravel's 1929 Ford pickup custom rod three in one, the Good Guys Rod and Custom Association build. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so essentially, what I did, I did some pre cutting, I guess you could say. I took off the front fenders. And I've got the bed in place just so I can um, do tests, see where the cab's going to be, all of that kind of mess. It's just one of those things, you know, the whole test fit, fit, test fit. <coughs> Pardon me. What I'm looking at here is... Um, Probably going to take the fender off right in here somewhere. And I'm going to line it up with the bed and um, get rid of this portion of the bed, is what I'm thinking. And keep this portion, but get rid of the lift or the, I'm sorry, the rail here, the rounded portion. And just keep the vertical bit and our ears. So you kind of line that up a little bit here just so you can get a sense of where I'm going. And our ears will come like off of here, come back, um, come back a little bit like this, come back down here, give that angry laid back i don't know if you've um you know playing rough with your dog or something like that and the dog gets it, it drops his ears back usually he's gonna be kind of angry well that's the same thing we're same look we're going for um as you can see right there i found another engine a six cylinder um, or I'm sorry, eight cylinder. This is the extra engine out of the 1953 Ford, uh, AMT kit. And I'm going to do the, um, sporty or hot rod type, uh, build out of it because, well, that's what was left, you know, with the risers here I think that'll be pretty cool now what I'm planning on doing and what you see over here is I cut a thin strip of this I do believe it's 0 020.020 0 .020 millimeter um, uh, evergreen sheet styrene I cut a thin strip and I glued the header to it. This is the before and this is the after. I rounded it off. It's not perfect right now, but it because I've still got a little bit more work. But this will get attached right in here something like that but what I'm thinking about here because of the way I'm looking to do my exhaust and I checked my evergreen rod to see this stuff is almost the exact same diameter so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is cut these off right in here each one of these And, um, you, you know, just use the clippers, clip off this outer portion here, and then glue in the rod like this. Now the point to it is, well, it'll be kind of more like that, but the point to this rod, I may angle it back slightly. 
is this will be teeth for these headers. But what, but you know, it's one of those cases of once I have it kind of in place, it's the reason why I got rid of the front fenders there. Um, but yeah, anyway, as you can see, I did get rid of the um, front fenders. Now what I'm going to be doing is probably reshaping a lot of this here because you see where the cab goes. I don't need this front portion here. So I'm like, I'll leave the uh, running board, but I'll get rid of this portion here, but save the wall bit here, maybe. Because it depends upon how I have this go. Um, but as you can see here, I've already marked where I'm going to cut. Now, when this goes in place, it goes in place a little something like that. And that should be kind of flush there. Now, one of the things I plan on doing here is I'm going to raise the back end. I this kit comes with two, and I didn't notice it before, but it comes with two front axles. So you break this out. It comes with two front axles. It's got this one here, and then this one here. This one is straighter. This one here is straighter than this one. I think this one lowers the front end just a little bit. But these two are exactly identical except this one is straighter. So I'm thinking that's going to that would bring the front end up a little bit whereas that one would bring it down. Um, so I want to use that but I got to watch for the oil pan. But also on this rear spring, as you can see where this goes, that rear spring fits in this groove here. So if I want to keep the rakish angle, I'm going to have to do something, add a spacer in here in this groove to bring the rear end up just a little bit more in order to preserve the placement of the oil pan. Which, speaking of, all of those were chrome bits and I dropped them in there last night. That's the chrome in the um, uh, mean green. I had to think about it for a second. Those are, that's the drop in chrome and mean green. That's all the pieces left for this engine. Um, the valve covers, I didn't want chrome. I didn't want this plate here that goes here to be chrome. And I sure didn't want the, uh, two bits that go over the carburetors to be chrome. Um, well, not as, not, not that kind of chrome anyway. The point is, is um, this here is the Wolfman. Wolfman and silver bullets don't go. So I'm going to try and avoid as much chrome as possible because, you know, it'd be representative of silver. Silver's bad for um, the werewolf. However, doing the doors, um, 
I was thinking about it. I'm now I mentioned in the review video, um, I'm cutting the roof down and then I was looking at the doors for the tall cab here and how I would have to cut them down to match, but it's got a second set of doors. They're the half doors. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So I don't have to mess with all that cutting. Um, what I'm looking at here is probably this notch, just above this notch, get rid of this entire front plate and bring the roof down that angle. So if we take this little sheet of styrene, you'll get the sense of where we're, what we're looking at. I think that's a wonderful angle. And then in the front, when you look at it, I'm going to do split window on the um, uh, windshield. So if you look at it kind of like this, it's going to be split window. But I'm going to, um, using, uh, well, I've ordered supplies. I'm doing two-part uh, putty, the milliput. And I'm going to give it that angry look uh, that's my don't mind my artistry it sucks but you get the point I'm gonna give it that angry scowl look now the only thing I uh, using this engine and the raised bits here when raising this my biggest concern then becomes how well does it fit under the hood I mean if we look at this here this here's the block that goes with it that of course is the top end but if we look at that that would be something like this. So we're actually looking at a lot more space up here. So I may have to modify the hood just that little bit in order to properly fit what I'm looking to do. <laughs> so anyway, that's some of the discussions where we're at. Um, I said I was going to do this. Um, what I'm figuring here, you can see I marked it just ahead of these braces here. Which these actually line up. These marks actually line up just a little bit behind. Or, you know, right there. That is flush. So those are marked uh, marked off. See how this comes down to here? These here are marked pretty well even, straight across there. What I'm going to do is cut both pieces and bring them forward. This here, because I got rid of the fenders, is a little flimsy. But I got to looking this here I think is the zero point or point zero four zero millimeter. That's just about exactly the right thickness of the plastic. And I'm gonna use strips of this to act as replacement strips for this. The difference is when I cut this part, I'm gonna cut like 14 mil uh, I'll cut it and then I will take away about f 14 mils of it or not 14 mils um, four mils because I'm lengthening this so it'll be a total of uh, 14 mils but this will just get lengthened and what I did was pre-cut where to go this stuff this is the square 
rod, as it were. I think that's a two by two mil. You know, basically it's two by two. So I pre-cut some of it at 10 mils. And then what I'm going to do is cut at those two points, which I did already do all my checking. You will see the two mil wide here is a perfect fit, but it requires or will sit a little over two stacked on top of each other. So it's why I've got two for one side and two for the other. I did the pre-cutting. And then those will go in and be my spacers. And then, as I said, the strip of this will act as this stuff here and fit over the new space. Pardon me. All right. Um, let me see here. I said I was going to do this on camera, but I think what I'm going to do, you've got the general idea of what I'm doing here. I think what I'm going to do is um, uh, go ahead and stop here for the moment uh, because you get what I'm doing here. It's just one of those cases of very carefully cutting those bits there and carefully dropping these in. Now, yes, a lot of this may sound or seem a little flimsy once it's down. But once you have this in place, it'll actually sh firm up everything because you see how well this fits in place. Once everything is lengthened and situated in place, that'll be real solid. So I'm not overly concerned of, about that, but um, well, like I've got going with my auto car A64B. What I did was where I lengthened it, I added some of my thinner sheet styrene on the inside of the frame, overlapping the original frame and the extension. And then once everything was actually firmed up and properly dried and, uh, and whatnot, I sanded down this bit until it's, well, darn near invisible. You really can't tell. And it's a really solid, <coughs> it's a really solid uh, connection. So, uh, well, and then once you add everything else on top of it, the frame really strengthens up. All you're doing is putting a spacer in there and, um, uh, well, creating a longer frame. But my neighbor had asked about it, asked what I'm doing, uh, and how I would go about doing that. So I'm showing you what I did or what I will do. And in this case, I'm doing 10 inches, which is, I'm adding 10 inches, which is 10 mils. Or I'm sorry, five mils. No, it's 10, that's right. 10 mils, which is 10 inches in 125th scale. I'm adding 10 inches to the front end because, well, like the werewolf, when you transition, your face changes, your snout, you know, all of that mess changes. So we're adding 10 inches and I'll dig in my parts box and come up with some things because this engine, the V8, is actually um, about, the block itself is about as long as the block, the 
four cylinder there uh, four cylinder that comes with the kit so I will come up with some things um, including the fan I've got um, of course the water jacket here the pump and all that mess and the uh, fan belt but um, I'm going to add something in the front end probably a space between like the grill and the uh, radiator or um, maybe you know something like that just and, and be creative with it make make it seem real like it makes sense but you never know like maybe an uh uh an inner cooler or something like that because this here's a hot rod engine um do something like an inner cooler an extra radiator um in the front uh so yeah that's it it'll make sense you'll you'll see um as far as this goes the, those are the points where you are supposed to attach the bracket that how uh, has the headlight housings we will adapt to this when we get there it's believe it or not a lot of this is <laughs> I hate to admit it, but a lot of this as we go is made up as I go. So I'm not sure how I'm going to attach the headlights, but they will get attached. Um, just like, um, well, I was ran into a good friend of mine at the store yesterday and we were discussing torches. Now, if you look at the back of the Frankenstein's monster, I did that whole look of the oak walls or door frame kind of like thing. Um, give it that uh, medieval Europe feel. Well, the same sense is going to be done with this. Now, I'm not necessarily going to put real wood in here because this here's got a fantastic wood grain I really actually like this wood grain I might but I might not because I mean the if I laid in the board it uh, would actually raise it up a little bit I could get rid of this grain and just leave it as a frame leave enough as a frame and then lay the wood over it but I it I'm thinking ahead I'm you know I'm getting ahead of myself here um, but anyway to go with that more of a 18th or 19th century feel on the back of this I'm going to get rid of this portion here and drop in a plate of armor like old school heavy big bolts armor here and in the paint job I'm going to scratch it up as if we've really pissed off the wolfman I may even put like a big old dent here or something like that like the wolfman hit it or something like that but it'll be really scratched up what I've got that really, really good friend of mine looking for is right in here, I'm thinking, and right in here, I'm going to put some of those um, medieval or, you know, uh, uh, 13, 14, 1500 type torches, the ones with the cast iron claw bit that holds the torch and the wooden uh, a wooden handle. I'm going to scratch build some stuff and that friend of mine is going to be looking for the um, little bitty claw bit type things. Um, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here just, I'm picturing torches here, actual torches. Not actual, mind you, it, act, but torches. And to give it that sense, that feel. Um, whoops. So yeah. I've got a lot going on here. Some things I'm pre-planning, looking in the future. Some things I'm like, eh, I don't know. But I think this thing's going to really turn out pretty, pretty daggum sharp. I don't think we're going to have the tailgate. Even though we can have an opening and closing tailgate, I don't think we're going to have the tailgate. But I don't know. I haven't quite gotten there yet. But you're already seeing where this is and how and where it's taking shape. Um, and what we're looking at, I have quite a bit of work ahead of me. I hope you stick around for it. <laughs> Again, I'm, I've got to continue modifying the headers. I did the one, saved the other so you could see what it started out as and then what it went to. Um, but otherwise, that's where we're at. Uh, it's about time to pull the chrome pieces and get them washed off and let them air dry. And then I can continue working on the engine. Um, obviously, there's gonna have to be a new brace here or some new bracing, because I'm not sure how this engine fits, but this one wants to drop straight through or almost straight through so we have a lot uh, uh, a lot of work ahead of us but we'll get this situated and so we're having fun with this and um, yeah thanks for joining me the you guys are awesome the subscribers the viewers I I'm really uh, I am beyond appreciative. I can't say it enough. I am really, really appreciative. And I I thank you all. Um, there, uh, uh, dang it. Well, I hope you all witnessed that uh, train of thought derail. Good Lord. I had a thought I was going to share it. But anyway. All right, so we'll call it uh, the video for today. Uh, I'm Eric uh, with His and Hers HHQ. If you haven't already, follow us over at Facebook or on Facebook at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. Take a moment, like, subscribe, share the content, and as always, comment below. I do try to be interactive um, and yeah I, I really do appreciate the uh, comments uh, from all of you guys it's, it's um, wow oh side note I've got all these bits here uh, they are stacks I don't know what to do with them but anyway I'm Eric have a good day.